Hello, welcome to part two, and now we're going to be taking a look at modelling. So, in Maya there are two basic forms of modelling, it's actually the same in most 3D applications. Basically, we have poly polygonal modelling, which is where you model with polygons, either generally in triangles or in squares, quads, or you have NURBS modelling, which is basically using points and curves connecting the points. I'm just going to demonstrate a few of these. So to start with, let's go into our polygons shelf. But yeah, remember we learned about the shelf tab last tutorial. And we're going to click on this button here which is going to create a cube. If you don't know what a tool does in Maya then there is a very helpful help bar. And if you don't know what the help bar does, then hover your mouse over the help bar and it tells you what it does in the help bar. Yeah. So we're going to toggle, hover over this. We can see in the, in the uh, help bar it says polygon cube, create a polygonal cube on the grid. So we're going to click that and nothing happens. Well, what's happened? Well, basically, we need to draw it. So we've got a now, cursor has changed. We're going to draw, hold down our left mouse button. If we hold down shift, we can make sure it's a perfect cube and release. Alt left mouse button, remember to navigate around. Alt middle mouse button to pan and alt left mouse button to zoom in and out. So we've got our cube, but at the moment it's see-through. Now this is called wireframe view, where we see wire but it's just wire with nothingness. If you hit 5, that's the 5 above your um, all your letters on your keyboard, hit that and now it's shaded. Select our cube and basically there are three main modes when you're selecting. There is object mode, which we're in at the moment where we have a whole object selected. There is vertex mode. Now a vertex is a point that connects all the lines. Which so for instance this is a vertex, this is a vertex, this is a vertex. Then we have our sides, which are these long lines. And we also have faces. I lied didn't I? I said there was three. Well there's four. There's four now, a new one's just been invented, and it's called Faces. This is a face, this is a face, and this is also a face. There's six faces on a cube, in case you didn't know. To access all of these different options, right mouse button, hold it down, and we get a few options. And pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Basically, let go of the right mouse button over the option you want. So we've got Object Mode, which is what we're in at the moment face, let's just go to our face mode, and as you can see, basically, it's going to highlight any face you're hovering over, and when you select it, it's going to go orange and green if you hover over a selected face. Then hold our right mouse button again, and let go on over vertex, and now we can grab our vertices. Hold down over again, and we can get our edge tool. To select more than one edge, vertex, or face, or even object at once, hold down shift, and you can select multiple objects. Now, it's all well and good selecting these objects, but what can you actually do with them? Well, pretty, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go to face mode, let go, we'll go back into face, I'm going to select a face. Now there are three manipulation tools, basic ones. There's, there's two main ways to access them. Over here in our tools panel, we've got move, rotate, and scale. So the move tool, if we select that, it's going to move our selected item. So at the moment we've got a face selected, so we can move it. We can move it in X, Y, and Z space. We can also grab at the center point and move it in all three at once. So we can do the same with our vertices as well. We select two vertices 
with our move tool selected or we can lift them up we've got our rotate tool let's go into object mode to demonstrate this choose our rotate tool and we've got a few funny lines basically we've got our red line which is going to rotate on the x-axis we've got our blue line which is going to rotate on the z-axis and our green which is our y-axis our yellow sorry is the y-axis actually I think the blue is y-axis and then we have our outer ring which changes which axis you're doing depending on what view you're looking at but you can just grab the object if you just grab it in the center of the circle you can do a free rotate in any on any axis and then we've got our scale tool we can scale along any axis and also uniform So there are basic manipulation tools in different modes, and you basically use them to model your object, but well, you can't really do much with a square, so that's why you have to subdivide an object. There's a few ways to do this. The most powerful way is extruding. I have a tutorial on extruding, you might want to check that out, that goes over it. Um, I'm just going to go over it basically. I'm going to delete my annoying cube now. Yeah, going to draw a cube. Hold down shift so it's a perfect cube. And now, up here in our polygon shelf, we're going to choose the extrude tool, which is this button right here. Select that. Then, this can only be done in faces mode, so select our face. Hit the extrude button. And then, we can move it up, we can scale it. etc etc and we basically create a new face so what I did in the extruding tutorial was I created a kind of a face and um, a body now another tool when modeling is our split tool if we go to our polygon menu set if you remember from last tutorial here's our menu set options we go polygon you know, edit mesh, split polygon tool, select that, and we're just going to select this edge, hold down shift, and this edge, and then press enter. And that's basically made two faces. We go into our face mode, we can see we can select these as two individual faces. We select both the faces, go into extrude. You can see that we're now extruding them individually. And obviously you use these tools to create your objects. If you want to see a smooth and smooth version of your object without having to actually smooth it, go back to object mode here, select our object. We have our proxy subdivide, which if we choose that, it's going to create a smooth version of our mesh without actually doing anything to it because we can still go into our vertex mode and edit it as if it's normal. Hotkeys, just want to briefly explain. Hotkeys are basically keyboard shortcuts for different tools. Let's hit this proxy button again, turn that off. So, for instance, W is the hotkey for the move tool. So hit W and then we can start moving very fast. Hit E for the rotate tool and then R for the scale. Very simple, it actually works its way down. So W, E, R, which as you can see are all right next to each other on your keyboard. Very simple. For NURBS, create NURB primitive and sphere. When we drag this out, you can see that 
Unlike polygons, it's being connected by curved faces. There are lots of different object modes. As you can see, they work completely different to polygons. Unless you're quite good at Maya, I wouldn't try, try and model in NURBS as you don't have as much control. They're more meant for organic kind of objects. But, and also a very powerful modeling technique. So this has been a brief introduction to modeling in Maya. I hope this has been useful to you. Um, just going over some basic tools, play around with them, see what you can do. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon and look out for part three where we're going to take a look at materials inside of Maya.